Hey friends, let's read a new book today called Lola Sleeps Over by Anna McQuinn. Pause to read what it's about. Tonight is Lola's first sleepover. Lola has visited her cousin Hani for lots of times, but she's never stayed overnight. Lola wants to wear her favorite conga dress. She chooses what else to bring. Lola packs her leggings for jumping. She packs her overalls for building. Lola and Hani will be dancing too. Her twirly dress and sparkly shoes are essential for that. Lola packs her cat pajamas and her best books. Mary and Dinah go on top. Lola's ready. Hani's house is just around the corner. Lola and her daddy walk there. Auntie Zari welcomes them. Hani and Auntie Gina are making lemonade. Lola can't wait to taste it. Daddy kisses everyone goodbye. He will be back in the morning. Hani and Lola play in Hani's rainforest. They build bridges and make a waterfall. It is awesome. Then Hani and Lola make water pictures. They paint the whole wall and each other. Hani and Lola play dress up after lunch. Now Lola is Hani and Hani is Lola. Auntie Gina has made Hani's favorite salad for dinner. Lola has never liked cucumbers, but these ones are delicious. There's just enough time for a movie before bed. Hani's bed is magical. Lola takes out Mary and Dinah. Auntie Zari has a surprise. It's a photo album of when Auntie Zari and Lola's daddy were little. Auntie Zari tells them a special bedtime story about the photos. Good morning. It's time for Hani and Lola to wake up. Hani loves French toast. Auntie Gina makes some as a treat. Lola tries it. Mmm, delicious. Ding dong. It is daddy already. He's come to pick up Lola. Lola loved her sleepover. Soon it will be Hani's turn to come to Lola's house. Lola can't wait. And that's the end, friends. Here's some more Lola books. Let me know if you liked this one, and I'll look for the other ones at the library. And don't forget to give me a like and follow so you don't miss the next story. Until next time, friends.